this almost feels like you could completely and utterly lose yourself in this. It is that amazing. Calibration module complete. Hello, and welcome to something a little bit different. Now, a few of my subscribers know that I've got the HTC Vive, and I've had it since day one, actually. And I had a Paraplays VR channel. And it kind of fizzled a little bit, because for me, I wasn't putting out much content because there was so much trash coming out that was all the same. Uh, space ones, or ones with a little shield and a bow and arrow, and there was just so many low-budget people had made themselves, which, good on you for, for trying and making it. But nothing that would warrant me to put down some serious dollar. There are, you go on Steam and there's a lot like $3 or a 99p. Not really interested. So it kind of fizzled off. And for me, the only game at the time, apart from the experiences like the Blue and uh, Steam's own, uh, own version of the Lab, things like that, there was only really one game that stood out for me. And that was... Call of the Starseed. <laughs> I almost forgot it then. The gallery, Call of the Starseed. Brilliant experience, adventure game, there was puzzles in virtual reality, and I really, really did enjoy it. Now, since that's been over a year and a half ago, since that came out and the second part hasn't been out for a long time, I lost interest in VR. There was nothing excited coming out, nothing that was triple A. Nothing that was really going to grab you. It was all more experiences in VR that a lot of the studios are putting out because it is a difficult medium. But... There is a title come out, and I'll get straight to the punchline and straight to the point of this video. It's fucking incredible. It has restored my faith in virtual reality, restored my faith in interactive storytelling, and really given me a, a feeling of there is a future now for virtual reality, whereas before I was a little bit worried it was just going to flop, 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 flop. This is AAA. Make no doubt about it, this is AAA. And if you've got the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, you should just go out and sell your children and get this game right now. I'm telling you, this game has got an immersion factor that is beyond anything I have played, including uh, Call of the Star Seed, the gallery. Beyond that as well. This game is... It's so immersive that the tracking and everything else actually feels like it's your arm when you're moving around. Now, this game is purely for the Oculus Rift, but if you use the Revive plugin, which is really, really easy, now when you actually install it, it will, if you download the Oculus Rift games, it will automatically put them in your Steam library and you can launch them in there from the headset. So it's fantastic. It works brilliantly. There is a little bit of lag on the frame rate. It may look a little bit gash here and there, but that's because I'm recording at 1440p at the same time. That's the only reason. Once you're in game, words and the videos on YouTube are not going to do this game justice. Trust me. So in this first video, we're literally just going to go through the tutorial where we'll learn about scanning and movement and things like that. And if you've ever tried virtual reality and you get that motion sickness, there is none in this game. Zero. And I can get mo motion sickness quite a lot. You know, you get edited, it's like, oh, a little bit queasy. Because of the, the way that the game moves with motion through the environment, it's brilliant. But anyway, this is Paraplays in space. And yes, I've got put on a little slight little bit of a tweak on the voice to make it sound like I am a robot, because I am a robot, but in game, just to give you a little bit more, a little bit more of enjoyment, that's what I've done. But this is the first part. If you want to see some more, please let me know because I certainly will be playing more of this. It is para mind blowing. Welcome. I was gonna say lone wolf. You'll see when we get in there. Thanks for watching, subscribe, thumbs up, let me know what you think if you want to see some more. I've been... Paraplays in space. Was it Pigs in space? It's Muppets, wasn't it? Pigs in space. Hello and welcome to Lone Echo on the HTC Vive. This game is, in my opinion, one of the best VR experiences so far. 
that's available. As you can see down at the bottom, it does think that we are going to be playing on the Oculus Rift. But we are playing on the Vive, with the Revive Injector. So let's jump in. I won't be talking over any cutscenes or any areas where there is dialogue. I can tell you now, the tracking is amazing. The fact it is tracking my arms perfectly makes us think that there's going to be a fantastic future for virtual reality if games like this are anything to go by. My god, the future is very, very bright indeed. Hera, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes, personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. God. Holy... Anyway, all mining wow. sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rose. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Jesus Christ, the immersion is off the scale. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. Hera, Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. This is fucking insane. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. I, it actually feels like that's my arm. That is incredible. And as you can see... When you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. detail on the arm is just amazing. Target hit. Excellent throw. It's, Calibration module complete. Please stand it's by. Actually tracking, it feels like it's tracking the arms and elbows in such a natural way that you don't get in the Module games. M101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. So you can see the Oculus Rift controls there, even though I'm using the Vive one, works perfectly. <laughs> she feels like I'm grabbing This it. labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Oh, that is insane. Because of the way that... Oh my god. It, it actually feels... Please follow the labor unit to proceed. It actually feels like I'm fucking here. I, this... This is indescribable. That feels, when I twist my hand lock, it actually feels like this is what virtual reality is about. I, I am completely immersed in this environment. And there's no motion sickness whatsoever. Please take your time and follow the guide. I, I mean, the depth of this, it actually, it's going to be impossible to explain to you on a video 
how insane this is. Carefully climb up the slope to continue. Again, the movement is so natural and beautiful. No motion sickness because you, you have a reference in front of you to hold things. And it actually feels like I am weightless. And now I carefully down there. pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. I mean, this room looks as though it's 50 foot high. There's an amazing sense of depth. And if I just float up here and grab, this is mind blowing. Carefully glide to the exit by letting go as you pull forward. This almost feels like you could completely and utterly lose yourself in this. It is that amazing. Calibration module complete. Module M205. Maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters. Allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts, or held down for continuous usage. It genuinely, genuinely feels like I'm here and I'm floating in this room. Reaching out and grabbing, I mean that feels like my arm. To continue, touch and hold the hollow it's... icon near the door. I've enjoyed Please a lot. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. A lot of VR experiences on my VR channel, but nothing like this. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this <laughs> test. It feels like my arms are actually touching at the side. Wow. My other experiences of VR have been the gallery call of the star seed, which was for me brilliant, but this is just on another level. Why they don't officially support this on the Vive? My God. Thruster calibration at 50%. I hope to God as well that they do another part because it would be on my most wanted list instantly. We've only done the tutorial. This is just... Let me just get in here and stop. Just have a look at my arm. It feels like that's my arm. It's the strangest thing. If this is the future of interactive media and storytelling, I'm in. Calibration wow. module complete. Module C-111. Communication. You will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, Silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. It's quite amazing how these natural mechanics are just in now. I know I can grab floor. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury Transport model in this room is one of the Fury Transports that's actually mining. We're actually on a mining ship at the minute. In case you Please too talk sure. about the two points of interest in the room to continue. So here's another labour unit like myself. Of course I can grab him and we're just going to talk to this guy now. 
Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. What is your secondary directive? Preserving the integrity of Atlas Corporation property and equipment. So now we're going to need to scan the actual mining model so I can push off this guy. Use the boosters. It's just, this is fantastic. Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. A Mark I Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Robot humor. Notified. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? Affirmative. Proceed to the next module. I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Module A-131. Data Scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. We automated deep space mining. Your echo unit is the perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving, and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming? Command wants the Echo Unit to assume your duties when you leave for Ceres. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for maybe six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Command wants to see numbers like that on Ceres? I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack, huh? Well, what else would I call him? Look, I get it. You've been working with that particular unit a while. Okay, I see where this is going. But it's a machine. It doesn't actually care about you. Whatever... Attachment you think you have with it isn't real. It's all just algorithms and subroutines. This is different. Jack is different. Either way, it doesn't matter. Your orders stand. The Echo unit is to remain on the station. Understood? Just... hear me out. Is that understood, Captain Rhodes? Understood. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? You were talking to Command. Oh, yeah. Sorry you had to hear that. I... Hang on, are you... Are you stuck in there? My diagnostic program crashed. Well, that's never happened before. The pod's release procedures may have been affected. Worked that one out on your own, did you? I failed to see how sarcasm was going to help. Sorry, can't help it. Part of my wily British charm. Weren't you born in space? You want out of there or not? You're all set. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you earned yourself a promotion. The Directors want you to take over my duties as Station Commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up, I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say, except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. 
Let's get our last week started. The immersion factor and detail in this room here is... Uh, it's almost hard to put into words how immersive this is. It really does paint... I mean, can you imagine if this was the, the space shuttle? I mean, it genuinely, guys, I know you're probably going to hear me say that many times. There's another labor unit there. Genuinely feels like I am here. Will you have Series 8 labor units with you on Series? I'm sure. But fortunately, I won't need to rely on them for company with all the other people there. Labor units have always been a bit dim. They lack my core learning modules, if that's what you want. More to it than that, but yeah, that's more or less the gist of it. So this is a labor unit, and I can literally, in VR now, th this is right in front of me. It may not be the same when it's on on the actual video. Fuck you, Microsoft, for popping that email out. So this is the Jack unit. This is basically me, I think. And we can get in here Fortunately, right this backup echo unit appears to be functional. I can transfer to it if necessary. So again, I am literally right in front of it. I know sometimes on videos recording VR, this is probably 10 inches from my face and I can look around and move and look at any details I want here. There is a little bit of lag here because I am recording. It's not in the actual game. Let's just close that pod back up. As I mentioned, you could really lose yourself in this game. This, it really, really is mind blowing. What have we got here? Let's just check this. This echo unit part is damaged as well. If no echo unit parts are functional and my shell suffers a hardware failure, I would have to revert to an old version of my OS on the station's server. There is just literally detail everywhere. Everything's really nicely textured. I mean... I don't know what else to say. I mean, these look like they can be opened. I don't know if we can open these, can we? Yes, we can. <laughs> what is that? Again, it's highly detailed in VR. It feels like I want to press that. I'm sure we'll find out at some point in the game what it is. Because we're in zero G. I mean, I close that drawer without even thinking about it. That, that is the power of immersion and the power of VR, I guess. What is this thing? So before we go into the other room, let's just have another little look over here with activation unit. So that's our pod that we came out of. Let's just open this one up and see what we've got in here. Okay, so we've got an empty bay there. And the one we came out of looks slightly different with the glass door with the barriers on it. But that's our activation unit and we can close that door. And it looks like we've got another one over here on the left. Recovery unit. So it looks like the, the basic Mark 1, as it were. And, um... I literally don't know where to go to have a look. There's just detail everywhere. Now, the frame rate, I know from testing on the videos, is not the best. But in-game, it is silky smooth, believe me. And the depth is incredible. Looks like some sort of habitation centre with plants in there for oxygen. So let's work our way through here into the main deck here where the uh, the captain would sit I presume and let's just have a look around in here we've got the quarters living quarters the act bay what's this Kronos what's this why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights copy that copy that this is the official emblem of the Kronos 2 station the air duct to the left of me. The 3D situational sound is also fantastic. Is this up here? Hera. Is this like Hal, I presume? Good morning, Hera. Good morning, Echo One. Status report, Hal. Status report. All systems nominal. Facility mining operations are on track to exceed its quarterly quota by 43%. Let's just uh, take our time in here. This is the emblem of the United Solar Nations. 
the governing body that oversees the system. So got the UN then. I voted out. Right. So what else have we got in here? I'm just man, absolutely mind blown. Uh, I do know as well on some of my videos on my previous VR channel that it may seem like my head's moving erratically and moving around, but in VR it isn't. It's it's the most natural thing. Silky smooth, nice smooth head movements, but it comes across as a little bit jerky sometimes in VR. Unit 12, are those repairs on schedule? Affirmative. Data network maintenance will be completed by 0930 on October 8th, 2126. You're outside so I presume this is some sort of, is this a holodeck or a, a could even be a board game, one of those uh, air hockey things in space, gravity hockey. Let's just float on, oh this is just amazing. The movement is just zero, and I mean zero, motion sickness. It is just natural, it's soft. What's this? This is the first helium-3 deposit mined at the Kronos-2 facility. Okay, so the Kronos system is where we are actually docked at the minute. And we are stationed near Saturn. So we have got the shield on at the minute, so it looks like we can actually activate the bridge here. And just before we open up the... Will you get a plaque to commemorate your own tenure as Captain Liv? What? Why would I get a plaque? The first captain of this station received one, and your performance has exceeded his by every metric. That's not really how it works, Jack, but I appreciate the sentiment. Recording, let's do this. Let's open up the shields and activate the bridge. Maybe we're going to be flying off down towards the planet, and we may be even doing some more mining. Let's, let's open this up another look. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Oh, wow. Holy... Baseballs. I'm really going to miss this part. Wow. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Roger that. Let's just get just give me a moment to soak in this view. Of again as it's take your time. Oh my god, I am going to take my time. I'm hands on the glass. Oh my god. It's... I'm speechless. And there's Saturn in front of us. And here's the mining, as you can see. These are the ships who took in the, the, the titanium, or was it? Or the, uh, the uranium that we've just seen. And here's some of the ships we were looking at before. The mining colony actually taking the produce back onto the freight liners above us. This is amazing. We do have an especially striking view of Saturn this morning. Almost like it's showing off. 